Hey what's good, Leroy from Noisegate. Today I've got the new Magnetic Coast Expansion Pack from Native Instruments. So I thought in this video it'd be a good idea to tuck in, listen to some sounds and show you guys how I make a beat. This is going to be a two part video series. In the first one we're going to use Machine or Machina for our German friends, whatever you like, exclusively to make a beat with these sounds. And then from there we're going to move on to Ableton Live and then port those sounds and show you how we can make a beat there. This pack features heavy inspiration from producers like Flying Lotus, No Worries and artists like Anderson Park. Hence why I was super excited to get my hands on it. If you're not familiar with expansion packs, essentially they're genre specific sounds, samples and effects, plus presets for many popular native instruments plugins. This pack features many sounds sort of tailored to that kind of hybrid hip hop, old school boom bap, a little bit of lo-fi sounds. So if you're into those kind of vibes, this is perfect for you. But no matter what your vibe is, you can totally use these sounds and build upon them to make something more exclusive to you. So without further ado, let's tuck in, build a beat. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to open up a group. Uh, a group is essentially a group of sounds that will fill a bank and they feature you know, many different kind of melodic elements and percussive elements. So I'm gonna hit my browser, navigate to, oops, navigate to the groups category, use the encoder and we're gonna select magnetic coast. Now you notice as we scroll through the presets, it's gonna audition what these uh, groups sound like. Now we're not going for the uh, for the arrangements, we're just going for the sounds here. This one sounds pretty good, so I'll load that up. I'm going to move forward. Cool, so we've got some melodic elements down here, like drums and snares, and up the top here we've got some chords and some sound effects, and they also sound really nice. I'm not convinced by all of them, but there are quite a few in there that I'm certainly going to feature as the main theme of this beat. I'm kind of going for that sort of, you know, old school kind of like boom bap hip, hip hop, a little bit Jay Dilla style with that sort of swung drunken drummer kind of vibe. So let's move ahead. We need to create a new pattern. Fortunately for us, Native Instruments give us quite a few to start with. They sound like this. These sound pretty cool, but I'm probably just going to delete all these and move forward and just kind of make my own because I want to build my own beat from scratch. Start with a one bar loop. Hot tip is to always start with smaller phrases because you can always double and duplicate your phrases later to add variation. Now I'm pretty rubbish at finger drumming, so I'm just going to kind of layer these sound by sound. Activate my net metronome. I've already got my BPM set to 90. That's a nice one. Let's just move ahead. Okay, I can probably disengage my metronome now. Let's move forward with some kicks and snares. Okay, let's lay that down. Now let's go to our events, select the kick, and let's just quantize the kick. That sounds pretty cool for now. Let's move ahead. I'm going to lay this snare on top of the other snare so we've got a little bit more character going on with that one. Cool. I've got another kick here as well, so let's lay that down. Now I'm definitely not going to use that sound, but what I do want is I do need an open, a new open hi-hat. So I'm going to go to browser, navigate to one shots, make sure I've got magnetic co-sample pack selected, go to drums, open hi-hat. 
That one sounds nice. Cool. All right, this has actually got a reverb and a beat delay. Um, the features as part of this preset. And if we bring up the mix of that, it's got a little bit of shuffle there from that delay, which is kind of nice. But what I do want to do is I just want to take off some of that release so it doesn't bring out too long. Cool, all right, let's lay that down in 16th notes. Let's just go to my mixer, bring that level down a little bit so it doesn't override the beat. Cool. And the last thing I want is some kind of like metallic sort of percussive sound. So again, go to one shots, magnetic coast, percussion, and I'm gonna go to small metal. Yeah, I like that. Take it off one shot mode. Cool, so it's sounding really swung at the moment, primarily due to that snare being quite off. What we can do is we can go to step mode and we can actually use these arrows to select individual notes and we can even just move them on the grid so that they're more on point. So that will be the two there. But if I hold the shift button, it will move it in much finer increments so it's not so tight on the two. Cool, that's sounding good. Let's move over to our melodic elements now. Really vibing this chord sound, so it's probably gonna feature as a sort of heavy theme throughout the body of this track. But what I really want is I really want it to move a little bit more. I don't want it to sound so static. So what I'm gonna do, head over to the sampler. Turn down the release. Throw a filter on it. Open up the filter a little bit. And then we're gonna assign an LFO to modulate that filter. So we'll select, oops, eights. And we'll select a square wave and then so now this LFO is modulating that filter, which gives it a lot more movement, characteristic. It's really going to help that kind of groove move along. Keyboard mode. Now we want to select minor scale. Cool, that sounds good. Let's lay that down. Oops, first thing I need to do though, is I need to duplicate the length of this phrase because I want a longer phrase. So we're gonna move from one bar to two bar. All you need to do, hit the double button. All right, let's go. Cool, I'm just gonna select events, hit that chord, and then just quantize only that chord. So that's going to quantize that to the closest 16th note. And before I move on, I just want to do one thing. I just want to add a filter to this sound to roll off some of that low end so it doesn't clash with my bass line, which is coming up. So high pass filter. And I just want to put some reverb on it just for a little bit more shimmer. If I select here, I can select a different reverb preset. Let's go with...
Cool, all right, so at this stage, probably time to bring in a bass line. So I'm gonna move over to a new group and I'm gonna find a bass sound. Browse, but this time we're gonna open up an instrument, a synthesizer in fact, and I'm gonna bring up Old Faithful Massive. Now this comes with a bunch of presets for Massive for this pack, so we're gonna select the Magnetic Coast preset, go to bass, and have a listen to what we've got. This sounds pretty good. It's not exactly what I want, but I'm sure we can clean it up a little bit after we've loaded it. All right, sounds pretty aggressive. That drop there obviously affects the pitch in sort of a downward motion. Let's roll off the cutoff a little bit. Up an octave. Let's go back in. Sounds pretty good. Let's move ahead with that. At this stage you might want to add some quantization, but you know it's a pretty tight performance, so I'm not really too worried about that right now. Alright, what next? Maybe we can do something with these chords as well, just to add a little bit more melody. Let's go back to the sampler, take it off one shot mode. And maybe we can add a really short so the start of delay to this. Beat delay, load, shorten the delay time, maybe even to 16th. Increase the feedback, drop down the mix a little bit. Let's just lay that down real quick. Alright, so to finish this beat off, I just really want to find like a little lead sound that I can kind of play over the top of this groove, alright? And this sounds, sounds quite nice, but it's not exactly what I want. I want something a little bit more synthesized. So let's kind of use the browse button, navigate to our instruments, synthesizer category, and let's find my good friend, Monarch. Monarch is kind of like Native Instruments, sort of monophonic um, bass synthesizer, sounds a little bit like a Moog, and it's great for bass and lead sounds. Select, select, first we need to select the Magnetic Coast expansion, synth lead. All right, yeah, I'm vibing this, let's go with that. Bring that resonance down a little bit. Might just bring the attack down on the filter cutoff. On the filter envelope. Yeah, it sounds a bit more like it. All right, to finish this off, we're just gonna put a little, a little bit of reverb. Let's find a bit nicer preset. That'll do. And to finish it off, let's we'll put a beat delay on it with a shorter bit delay time. Cool. The last thing we need to do is go down an octave and we also need to change the semitone, drop it down to a G because that's the key that our main chord's in. And make sure we've got a minor scale going.
for checking out the video. I'll see you guys in part two, where we move over to Ableton Live, and use these sounds there. I'll see you then. Thank <laughs> you.